What's up, y'all? My name is Dwayne Jackson. I used to work at the brokerage firm made popular by the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, Stratton Oakmont. And I got a good question today. Somebody in the comments section asked me uh, a question and they asked me, did you do drugs? Did I do drugs? That is a great question. Hey, baby, is, is weed drugs? All right, listen, look. All right. I'm sorry for the clickbait. <clears throat> no, I've never done drugs. I'll tell you why. And this is a quick story. When I was 11 years old, um, my father took me, I believe I was going to get a haircut um, at my father, at my uh, uncle's barbershop in Far Rockaway, Queens. And uh, we had to drive through from where we were at uh, through his old neighborhood and by the projects. And there was a guy eating out of a garbage can. And hey dad, look at that guy eating out of the garbage can. He said, oh man. He stopped the car, jumped out and started talking to him, gave the guy some money and we got back in the car and we kept going. And he was like, yeah, that's somebody I grew up with. You know, it was a friend of mine. I said, dang, what happened, man? He said, um, drugs. He's like, he started uh, shooting heroin when we were, um, you know, high school or whatever, you know, years and years later. He's eating out of a garbage can. I was like, Dad, say less. I'm good. I never tried drugs after that. So when I got to Stratton Oakmont, there was, um, it wasn't like in the movie, Wolf of, the Wolf of Wall Street movie, there was drugs like everywhere. Um, it, it was hidden in plain sight. There were people doing, it wasn't like punch bowls of coke or nothing like that. But you could tell people were doing, you know, getting high in the morning, like in the bathroom, people would, you know, do a line or whatever, and then, you know, come out. And But I never, it was never my thing. Now, there was a guy on my first day of Stratton, Oakmont, my first day, I went in the bathroom. I looked to the left of me, and there, I was at the urinal, and there was this brother. He was smooth, man. He had the... Uh, he had the shirt, the uh, the uh, monogram shirt, um, the sh everything. He was, you know, he, he looked like a million bucks. And he came up to the urinal, I guess, you know, not too far from me. And um, he looked like he was uncomfortable. You know, I'm both trying not to watch, but he just looked smooth. Like, I didn't see no other brothers that looked this smooth. And um, he took, he went in his right pocket and he pulled about, I, I would say about $5,000 in cash out of his pocket, put it on top of the urinal. And then he kind of, Went in the other pocket, did the same thing, put that money on top of the urinal, and he's like, okay, now I can go to the bathroom. So he's going to the bathroom, and I'm kind of, I have never seen that much cash before. I, I'm looking, I'm trying not to look, because we still peeing, you know, I don't want the brother to think I'm staring at him, but I'm looking over, and he looks over at me, and he says, hey man, if you want to be able to put this kind of cash on top of a urinal one day, just stay here, they got you, you'll get it. I'm telling you, you'll get it. And I remember he was like, his haircut was smooth. Everything about this cat was smooth. And when I went back in the office, you know, I was a lowly cold caller and he went up to where the brokers were at. And then some years later when I started making money, I had seen, he had, I hadn't seen him. He kind of disappeared. And I seen him, um, I was going through Hempstead, Long Island, and I seen him and he looked like a homeless man. And, um. I uh, I was I was in shock. But when I got back to the office, I asked people. I forgot his name. I asked people what happened to him, and they told me, you know, drugs. I've seen the drug use at Stratton Oakmont. Yes, there was it was everywhere. Yes, a lot of people did it. Um, it wasn't as it op wide open, you know, as everything else that people saw in the movie. Like it wasn't just punch bowls of cocaine everywhere, but people did do it. I know Danny, A.K.A. Donnie. He used to, I didn't know why he was talking slow like that. I didn't know what a quaalude was. Um, yes, he was doing quaaludes. I assume there was other people in the office that did it, but um, drug use was rampant, but no, I didn't do uh, drugs. Danny Porish, AKA Donnie, Google his name. Danny Porish, just Google his name. Just, I'm not even gonna tell you, Google the man's name and he's still going through it with drug use. So yeah, that's, uh, no, I didn't do drugs. Um, keep the questions coming. I'm gonna answer them as they come to me and you know, I got plenty more questions. There's a, there's a few questions I know you guys want to, to hear the answers to. I'm gonna answer those too. 
Um, I got a great story for Friday. I'm putting this, this content out. I appreciate all the support, man. You guys have been just killing it. And uh, please like and share. Uh, and and uh, I'll see you guys on Friday.